morning everybody i love coming outside looking like this every morning i just woke up and um i'm gonna get the day started it's like seven in the morning so it's been a it's a little early for me after we come in from outside, depending on what time of the day it is, she'll get to eat or we'll come in here right away and take a shower. And she'll come in here with me because we don't want her causing problems out there. She's still a puppy, so um, she could cause problems. I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks um, about show showering. First things first, any type of hair you have, you should be wrapping it up after your shower in a microfiber cloth. If you don't have a microfiber cloth, um, it's always best to then use a t-shirt. Never use a regular towel because it's really, really bad for your hair. Okay, so today, as you can see, was a hair washing shower. Normally, I don't wash my hair in the shower. I only wash my hair, I'd say, once every five days just because it's really bad for your hair to wash it every single day. So I try not to wash it every single day. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys a few things in my shower. Um, that really helped me because I hate showering. I think that showering takes so much time out of your day. Obviously, I love being clean. That would be disgusting if I didn't. But showering just takes so much time out of your day um, that you don't need to be taken out of your day. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but, like, I'm a super busy person. So showering just takes those extra, like, however many minutes. But I want to be doing something else productive. Um, and showering just doesn't feel productive to me, so I like to make it as quick as possible. So normally my showers are only like three to five minutes if I don't wash my hair. If I wash my hair, it takes like 10 to 15 minutes just because it's like three extra steps. Today I wanted my hair to be extra curly, so I used my Matrix Total Results um, Curl Please Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I have my face wash in the shower that I use every time I shower. I don't really have a face care routine, which I know I'm unlike many in that. Um, and then I used this today from um, Bath and Body Works, and it is Golden Magnolia, which they actually don't sell anymore. I got it as a gift like a long time ago, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, another thing is I have like a scrub wash that's, that's exfoliating, and you're not supposed to use exfoliating scrubs every day. So if you're one of those people that's using one, don't don't do that every day it's not good for your skin it's only good to do it every once in a while and then to save time i use um nivea in shower body lotion that way right at the end of my shower when i'm done with my um, body wash i make sure that i put on that on my arms my legs my whole body that way when i get out of the shower i don't have to use lotion it saves like 20 minutes millie was down here whining she needed some attention all right, most days I just let my hair naturally dry or I shower at night and then I sleep on it. Um, but today I, I'm going to um, because I have to go live for the store I work for, for the boutique I work for. Um, so I'm gonna make it, try and try and make it look nice and add some product to it because normally I don't add product, I don't like using product, but we're gonna do that. So the products I'm gonna use today are Guts 10, which this goes in your roots. Um, and it makes your roots voluminous. I use this quite a bit actually. It's my oils that I put in my hair just to try and seal the ends and keep them healthy. And then this is Herbal Essence Volumizing Mousse. I'm being dope, I actually don't have any, which is very surprising. Normally I have some just like hanging out. I do have this. It's Catwalk, Girl's Rock Anthem, Girl's Rock Rock Amplifier. It's for defining, strengthening your hair, period. So. Maybe I'll try this instead, we'll see. Actually, yeah, I am gonna try that. This can go, away. I'll use that a different time. And then I always top off these looks that I do with hairspray. I also like to always have a spray bottle with me because the hair process takes a while and my ends are dead. Um, and so they'll dry faster than the rest of my hair. So make sure that you're keeping your hair wet through the process. I kind of hate it right now like it looks like I have a perm which it's like that's unfortunate but we're gonna rock it today I'm just a fan of my natural curls a little bit more these are natural but they take a little product but I just like my naturally like sloppy curls that curl every which way and are like clunky 
I don't know. I don't really have a face care routine. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Um, but as you can see, I didn't wash off my makeup last night because again, oops, my bad. In the morning, if I still have residue and the shower doesn't get it off, I also have reusable, a reusable washcloth makeup wipe thing that I adore, but I didn't have that in the shower with me today because it's in the washer. But I'll just go through and I use grassroots kind. I don't know, my friend got them for me because they have like, they're for sensitive skin, for dental dental makeup removal and they're they have like oils in them that are like supposed to like help with skincare because I don't do skincare and she was like here this will help with skincare and I was like cool that I don't wash off my makeup ever really or every day I also don't wear makeup every day I could never but today I have to and then the other thing that my friends finally got me to do was get moisturizer I'm really bad, I don't use it every day, but apparently I'm getting wrinkles. And they're like, it's because you don't moisturize. So I was like, fine, I'll moisturize. So this is me moisturizing. Oh, that was a lot. But I do, I am getting wrinkles already, and I did cry about it the other day. But listen, it's fine. And one thing I do know, Millie, what's wrong? Um, one thing I do know is your nose, you want to push down, and then this, you want to push up, your whole cheek right here. To avoid wrinkles, you're gonna push up, and then your forehead you push down and out to avoid wrinkles. I do know that, and I don't remember where I learned that. I think I learned it from like a Mary Kay specialist, which is pretty dope. I'm gonna take her word for it. I don't, I don't know. All right, so that is my um, face care routine. I guess I don't like I said I don't really have one. Now I'm gonna do my makeup and get dressed. I need coffee first. In typical Millie fashion, she chose the absolute worst time to have to go to the bathroom. I am outside in my robe. <laughs> good, good. But the coffee's done, so hey -o. I'm going to do my makeup and I love you guys, but I'm not gonna tell you what I'm using again. Like I said in the last video and I'm saying it again, what I used to do my makeup is not cool at all it's embarrassing so you're not gonna know i'm so sorry i know you just are dying to know the secrets but i refuse to tell you But again, this guy. So I woke up thinking about this guy. And I was going to text him and be like, hey, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. He's so sweet. He actually goes to the same college as me. but So, so sweet. And But he has a very serious girlfriend. So I would never. Um, and they are the cutest darn things in the world. So. Oh, wow. Did that lighting just get a million times better? Yeah. I'll tell you a little bit about my makeup look. So when I go, like, to take pictures for this boutique or, like, stuff like that, I do more of, like, a natural look. Like, you can see my eyeshadow is not that dark. Oh, no, I'm breaking out. That sucks. Super natural because I'm not going to, like, go crazy for that. But when I do, like, my makeup looks for when I have to go on, on air... The rules for that are hard. You can't have too dark of makeup, but you can't have too light of makeup. You can't have, like, too intense um, of highlight, but you also can't not have highlight. So, it's like, there's a million rules that you have to follow when you're doing makeup for broadcasts. And I'm just not very good at that. So, I normally have to, like, I just always play it safe and just make sure that I'm not, like overdoing it because that would be worse than underdoing it and as you can see by now I didn't put on any foundation and I'm already adding those up I don't wear foundation I don't like the way foundation feels on my face If I have, like, mascara like that, you just take your eyebrow tool 
and scrape it off like this. All right, it looks uneven, but take my word for it. It looks pretty good for the simple stuff I will be doing today. On to the next task. So I am dressed, sorry, there's laundry there that I need to do, um, and ready for work today. And I've already been up for like four, three hours and I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Um, but I just want y'all to take a look at my janky setup. Um, so this computer is my computer, my personal computer, and I had to get a keyboard that can attach to it because my entire bottom of my computer is not working. And then this one is the school's laptop that they let me keep for now in case like my computer completely goes out on me, which is a reasonable thing that could happen considering last night I literally freaked out because it completely went black and stopped working on me for a hot minute, so. The life. Ow! Cha! Miller. Say, I don't wanna do this anymore. I really don't wanna go live. I'm practicing and getting ready to go live and talk about these lovely hats that are on my lap. She needs attention per usual. Millie, release. Ready? Go get it. I think, guys, I think I just didn't put darker mess or darker eyeshadow. I'm gonna have to go back and look. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Like, that is not real. I'm like, why does one side of my face look different than the other? That's why. But I'm sitting here. I'm glad I found that because I was nervous. I'm still nervous. But, like, also, why? Why am I nervous to go live? I've literally been, this is dumb. This is stupid and dumb. And I recognize that. And I'm just looking out here, out here looking like a damn clown with my eyeshadow like this. For some reason, I'm like nervous to go live, which is just so absurd and dumb. I've done stuff like this for so long. I'm a news anchor for the love of all things good. I should not be nervous to do this. I'm going to go fix my makeup so I don't look like an idiot. And then I have to go live and I'm nervous, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It will be fine, right? It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. So I just got done going live and it was just fabulous, I'm sure. But Millie was in here with Lexi while I was going live. And Lexi just told me that Millie was on the bed, just chilling. And she yeeted herself <laughs> at the window because she wanted to look out the window. I'm sure she was trying to chase a bird or something. My pup is um, not uh, talented in those <laughs> ways. She's very unbalanced, but I have to finish doing some work because uh, the live just went up and the post is going up later. I have to make sure that everything I said in the live was true um, and that you can find it on the homepage, which you currently cannot. And I said in the live, you can't. So I have to go and do that immediately. Um, and then I think Millie's gonna go on a walk later today, which will be awesome. So I'm still not done working for the day because there's just a lot to do today. But um, later today, I have to make a TikTok for one of my classes. We're talking about like, um, it's a women's gender and sexuality course. And we're talking about industries like different um, takes on feminism, if you will. And I haven't really decided what exactly I want to do it about because there's so many different perspectives. I've had like a million ideas and then none of them are sticking. But I'm still working right now and I'm making some lunch. There's a, I'm making a whole pizza, which I regularly eat whole pizzas and I've been trying to eat healthier during quarantine, but it's not working. So whatever, whatever. We might come out of quarantine with, with a few extra pounds, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working. Mm. You know what they say, a Diet Coke today keeps the doctor away. So I'm in my Zoom class right now and it's actually frozen, but we're talking about this project and I am about ready for my two o'clock nap. So I'm like 
zoning out but i need to wake up and get through this class and then we have to go to the store because we have to get some essential items that we do not have anymore um and so we're gonna take a trip as the roommates and go and yeah so we just got back from the store and come on really and it was weird the store was weird everyone's in masks now and yeah just weird vibes but we got our essentials and we got back we tried not to waste any time in the store um and like our walmart here i don't know how walmart's across the rest of the nation are but ours here is set up very like differently now and they're very strict about the enter the entrances and the exits and all that stuff so it was just weird it's odd it's a weird time a weird vibe but we are going to go here a little bit later and drive to a town that's about 30 miles away from here and just get out and Sid wants to drive her car. She hasn't driven in a long time, so she wants to do that. And we're going to pick up some drive through food and come back. So that's what the rest of our day is looking like. We went to Taco Bell. We just got back a little bit, bit ago. I was going to vlog it, but my phone was dead and out of storage. So sorry. Um, but we got back a little bit ago and my phone's gonna die again. So this is probably it for my day. I'm doing some editing to finish up my night and then I have um, a paper to write as well. So um, long day, but successful day. I feel like I actually did something, so that's really nice. But this is what a typical day for me looks like in social distancing, aside from obviously leaving the house. Normally we don't do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see from me next time. I appreciate y'all coming back for more and more content. And if this is your first time here, thank you for coming and keep tuning in. I post vlogs every Tuesday and fun videos every Friday. So come back for content on Friday. All right. Bye. Love you.